Hi, and welcome to the Assembly Lines Podcast. I'm Chris Torrance. So today I want to do a video review of an air duster that I just got off of Amazon to be able to clean out my electronics. So let's get started. I've been wanting to get a air duster for a long time. I had been using a shop vac out in my garage, but that was just really inconvenient to carry my computers out to the garage just to use the shop vac. So let's see what we've got in the box here. And this is by Aero Pro. And I did a bunch of research on Amazon before deciding on this one, just because it seemed like it had the best features as well as it was also the most powerful in terms of the airflow. Inside the package, you get the air duster itself. You also get a bunch of attachments to go on to the end. And then you also get a carrying case. This air duster comes with a variety of accessories, including a couple brushes, a narrow one and a wide one, and then three nozzles, one standard, here's a tapered one, and here's what they're calling an air blade nozzle here. It also comes with a straw adapter, which I guess you could use to blow other things up. And then finally, it comes with three air pump adapters. And these would be used for blowing up things like air mattresses or something like that. Coincidentally, just as I was about to start this review, my MacBook Pro started acting up where I think one of the keys, possibly the tab key, is stuck down. Here's the tab key showing that it's stuck down. If I hit some other key, you can see that's how they respond. So I'm going to try and blow out the keys using the air duster and we'll see if that actually makes a difference. This is the bottom cover to my MacBook Pro and I'm going to go ahead and try out the little bristle brush here on the air duster. Now I'll try the bristle brush on the inside of the MacBook Pro. The air duster has two settings, low and high. I've only used the low so far, which seems plenty strong enough. When I was cleaning it, I tried to avoid touching any of the RAM or other chips with the air duster itself, just to avoid any static electricity. It was useful to have the brush to kind of clean out any of these little tracks over here. And it looks like it did a great job. So how did I fix the tab key on my MacBook Pro? First, I doused it with 91% isopropyl alcohol. Then I flushed it out with contact cleaner. And then finally, I used the air duster to blast it and dry everything off before I turned the computer back on. And now everything seems to be working great. Let's go ahead and try and clean something a little bit more challenging. So this is a three and a half inch floppy drive with a compact flash reader and also an SD card reader. And it's just filthy inside. It's a little hard to see in there, but if you look inside, there's just dust bunnies and just lots of crud. So I'm gonna go ahead and for this one, I'll switch the nozzle to the high airflow one. And so this one just has a really small opening. So what do I think about the air duster that I got? This is the Aero Pro Model A2 from X Power. It's about $50 on Amazon. The one that I got has a three quarter horsepower motor. Uh, it's rated at 4.5 amps and it has 90 cubic feet per minute. But more importantly, it comes with a variety of nozzles. It doesn't have anything like the pinpoint needle tube like you might get with an air duster. So it might be a little bit difficult to get into very hard to reach places. But in terms of the overall air power, it's much better than a regular can of air duster just because you can get so much more air through it. And it's also much less expensive in the long run just to avoid buying all those cans of air. And of course, it's also better for the environment. Overall, I'm really pleased with my X-Power air duster that I got. I'll have some links in the show notes. And once again, thanks for watching.